Hello everyone, welcome back. So it's summertime and if you've been invited to a cookout and you don't know what to take, I'll be showing you the perfect side dish to take to your cookout. And this is going to be an easy homemade guacamole. It can be used as a spread for your burgers, for your nachos. We love to eat it with our cookouts for the carne asada. And I'll be showing you the ingredients. So here's a list of ingredients you will be needing for today. I already washed my avocados and my serranos and the tomato and the limes. And I'm going to go ahead and start by cutting the avocados in the center. And also, um, I know I'm doing this voiceover as I'm editing. So try to bear with me. So I'm just picking up this avocado to show you how huge and beautiful it is. How huge and beautiful. How beautiful it is. And these avocados, I did have to go to a different store to get them. I don't like to get the ones from Walmart because they are super tiny. So my preference is to get these. And what I love about these is that once I cut them, they're like so easily, like they just come off like butter. Or the skin comes off like butter and I'll be showing you in a minute. And also, I do want to share with you that the seed I from the avocado, I like to keep the seed in the avocado. For some reason, that helps the avocado, I guess, not to turn brown, which I don't know if that's true or not. So I have my blender here, and you don't have to blend your guacamole. I like to blend the guacamole just because I want it to be super smooth. But if you want, you can just mash it up with like a fork or like the bottom of, um, of a glass just so it could be chunky. And this is what I mean when the skin comes off really nicely like butter so I'm just gonna go ahead and keep on cutting the rest okay so I know this is kind of dangerous by me just holding the seed and cutting the what's left of the avocado but I was really careful trust me all right so I'm just dumping that in the bowl and I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up just a little bit so it won't be super slow and also I do like to cut the little tail you see that I like to cut that because that's where the stem was and I only used two and a half avocados I didn't use one of the other halves um, I'll be eating that for breakfast tomorrow okay so I'm gonna add some water to this just a little bit. The water helps it um, not stick to the bottom and that way it can blend really easily because if I didn't add water it would just stick all over it and then I will have to dig in there with the spoon. Let me know in the comments what you guys usually take for like when you go to a cookout. Do you prefer to take desserts or like drinks or do you like to prepare? your side dishes or anything at home I typically like to prepare either like if I'm taking like some salsa or like this guacamole that everybody loves or some rice sometimes we'll take banana pudding but I think I'll be showing you on the next video how we make a banana pudding which was um, passed down from a co-worker all right so I'll be using two limes and I'm going to squeeze that in there just so it can blend so nicely. And I couldn't find my squeezer, so I'm using my hands. Alright, so for the salt, you're going to go easy on the salt. This is how much I used. And this is a little spoon, not a big spoon. And then also I am going to add the tomato on there. And I'm only going to use half of a tomato. Excuse me, I forgot to put my phone on silent. Alright, and I'm also going to cut the tails of the jalapenos. And this is a jalapeno. And I also have a serrano. So if you want your guacamole to be spicy, you can add some of the seeds right here. But I don't like to add that because it's already going to be spicy with me adding the serrano pepper. Alright, and for this onion, I'm only going to use a tiny slice of the onion.
And also I did forget to mention, um, for the extra ingredients, you can add cilantro, garlic, or ground cumin, but I don't like to add garlic or ground cumin. And I did forget to buy the cilantro. Um, I remembered once I was washing all my ingredients. Okay, so for the serranos, I'm only going to throw like five little pieces in there and I'm going to keep the rest because once the guacamole is done, I'll be showing you, I'll, I mean, I'll just add them on top and that's just for like the aesthetic look. All right, so I did went ahead and add more water and I'm going to go ahead and start blending this up. I was having technical difficulties as you can see. All right, so we're going to blend that up. And you could usually stop right here if you want it to be kind of chunky, but I still kept going just because I want that like smooth look. Alright, so I'm getting prepared to dump everything on the bowl that I have right here on the side. So once everything's blended, you want to go ahead and give it like a taste test and see if you need a little bit of salt or more lime juice, whatever your preference is. Look at this beautiful guacamole spread. All right, so I already did the taste test and mine actually needed some more lime juice. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and cut up a little bit of um, tomato and add it on top. And also more serrano peppers just because I want it to be spicy. And you do wanna cut these real tiny you don't want to leave them like really big chunks and you can also add more onion as i showed you or some more jalapenos so i'm adding more tomato And for the final look, I'm adding some lime pieces on there. Just mix it all up, which I did make a mess. <laughs> Alright, so this is the final look of the guacamole. And let me know down in the comments if you give this recipe a try. And also, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And so since summer's here, let me know how your summer goes in the comments, what you take, your favorite dishes. And I'll see you back on the next one. Bye!